All right, what is going on, fellas? Today, your boy is out here, and I'm going to get you laid, okay? I am going to get you guys laid today, 100%. Uh, you know, I am a avid sex haver myself, and today I'm going to share that with you guys. Share what works for me. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm completely joking with you guys. Um, so yeah, as some of you guys may know, maybe you don't know, uh, I'm recently, I've just recently become single again after three years. Uh, I know it's a definitely a freeing experience for me. Um, you know, good buying, good riddance to my right. But, um, yeah, no, with that being said, I got to get back out there in the game, right? All right. I'm with you guys now. I'm back out here. I need to get back out there into the game. And I know some of you guys too. So today we're going to be taking a look at some flirting methods. Now I saw a couple of these the other day on another video I was watching and I just found it too funny to not make a video on. Like I was sitting there the whole time like, God damn, I got to make a video on this shit. So we're going to be going over a couple of them. Uh, just a couple funny things like that that I find, you know, just absolutely hilarious. Will they work? Yeah, probably fucking not. I would actually recommend you probably don't use some of these, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go over them anyway. So starting off with this first one. Now, this one got like a TED Talk and everything. It's actually like somewhat popular and it is called the Hot Eight method now you may be thinking what the fuck the hot ape method yeah you heard me right the hot ape like h-o-t-a-p-e so essentially it's an acronym where each letter stands for a principle that you can use in flirting it's simple proven framework using humor openness touch attention proximity and eye contact you can improve your flirting skills and enjoy conversations with anyone that catches your eye now okay like this is already we're we're off to a rough start here we are off to a a somewhat rough start i'm not gonna lie this kind of sounds like some incel shit but we'll keep going you know this was made and invented by a female so like clearly she's gotta know what she's talking about right like she would never lead us in the wrong direction that would just that would just be fucked up right you know, who wants to be led in the wrong direction as a male? And no woman out there would do that to us. So let's see. You need to learn how to flirt, right? You know, we're, we're all there, right? Flirting isn't just some skill that's cheesy or reserved for the army of chads. Oh, fuck, dude. Not the chads, bro. They need to leave some women for the rest of us. Fuck. Flirting is a skill that allows you to transfer your emotion of attraction and energy into another person. That sounds so fucking creepy. Uh, one day you will meet a beautiful woman that would be thrilled to be with you. But if you haven't had any practice flirting, you'll be stumbling over your words and leaving her thinking that you're either a selfish jerk or a lonely loser. Fuck, dude. Why are you going to call me out like that? God damn, dude. Random ass article I found online fuck why dude that actually that's so sad i'm i'm depressed now uh so in other words don't just flirt with the one flirt with everyone (laughs) so that you can practice your skill all you're doing is transferring your emotion of energy to them then by the time you meet a girl you really like you'll be confident with your ability to flirt completely you know that actually isn't the worst advice in the article. Like, I guess, you know, I would kind of recommend just, you know, putting yourself out there and talking to like at least a couple people that you find somewhat attractive. Uh, even if you don't really look to like fully go in and progress further with that, you know, it, it is good to just kind of flirt around, you know, because it does build confidence sometimes. Now I'm not saying go out and be a, like a fuck boy. Right. But it does help build confidence a little bit. So then when you see someone that you really do, you're like, God damn, like that's the fucking person for me. Then you kind of do have that confidence and you, you know, it's a little less awkward, but you know, so that that's not the worst advice there. Um, Jean Smith is the woman responsible for the hot eight method. And you might be wondering why did she create it? Well, she's a scientist and she wanted to know how people actually understand when someone is flirting with them. 
I'm going to be honest, for some reason, using science to, you know, back up or like improve your flirting typically doesn't go very well because, you know, a lot of those textbooks examples just don't actually happen in the real world or it's a little different to the point where like that shit's not actually going to work. But, you know, what? whatever, whatever. Uh, in short, this woman wants to know the science of being flirted with. In short, we really like saying in short in this article, uh, she came up with these six things that almost all people do when they have the intention of flirting. Humor. Consistent studies show that a good sense of humor is one of the most attractive traits to have as a man. Time over time, a woman would pick a less physically attractive man who is funny over a super attractive man who seems boring. Being funny is also easier than you think. Like... I mean, I guess, but once again, it's not really true for everyone. While some girls do really fuck with like, you know, a funny dude or personality or some shit, there's other girls out there who don't want that, you know, and they're fine with like, (laughs) you know, the more boring kind of dude. It's not like you have to fucking wow everybody with your humor uh, while you're flirting. You know, you could just be a normal fucking person, Uh, especially if you're like, if you're typical kind of personality isn't super funny like you know just be yourself i think that's probably a better a better piece of advice than humor but okay uh you don't need to know any planned jokes or sarcastic wit women love the type of humor from a guy who just doesn't take life so seriously they inherently want someone to give them permission to let go and be free uh i just almost started singing a a fucking song and i'm i'm not gonna do it but uh yeah I advise to try to see the humor in mundane situations and translate that over to your interactions with women. Put some energy into it too. I have a friend who literally won a girl over by dancing at the gym after he hit a new PR. He was just having a little fun at life, but his lack of seriousness had a sexy... What? Senorita asking his name in no time. Dude... (laughs) yo there's no way this article just actually referred to some girl as a sexy senorita fuck me dude (laughs) this article is gonna get you laid for sure like oh my god begin by listening to stand-up comedians or seeing how other people apply humor in their life modeling success is a great framework for humor being funny on the spot is actually quite closely correlated with being more intelligent. That's crazy, dude. No wonder I'm so fucking stupid. Um, the ability to take a situation and turn it into something that evokes a laugh in someone else that is actually a form of creative problem solving, and that's a trait that all women desire in a man. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It might make you smile like the Grinch to realize that this is also a skill that can be trained and developed over time. I mean, if you ever went back and watched some famous comedians' first stand-up shows, they're funny, but for a different reason. Everyone starts somewhere, and you need to know that humor is just a skill that you'll have to work on. I mean, okay, like, all right, I guess. I guess being funny, like, that's good to flirting. Although, honestly, if you're flirting you're probably not going to be that fucking funny because if you're like really flirting and doing it well, they're going to just fucking start giggling at whatever shit you throw out there. It doesn't matter if you're funny, if you're like the most unfunny person on the fucking planet. You know, I think I think humor is more of like something that fucking, you know, seems like something in the flirting, but honestly, it's probably not that big of a deal. Uh, openness, however... Did you know your body posture affects the level of testosterone in your body? No way. Researcher Amy Cuddy. (laughs) Hey, yo, Kid Cuddy, shout out my guy. No, but it's not even spelled like that. It's not even spelled like that. Showed in a Harvard University study that people who have had a relaxed and open body posture or something called a high power pose tend to have reduced levels of stress and increased testosterone. Every day you need to wake up, get out your bed, walk up to that girl you fuck with, and just straight up stand uh, and just T-pose on her ass because that gives you testosterone and that is the way to flirting. 
That is the fucking way to flirting. When you convey a relaxed and confident body posture, it signals that you are a high value man. In evolutionary psychology terms, this means that you not only have access to, but an abundance of resources, people, and ideas that could contribute to speak, yeah, that could contribute specifically to your future kids. Nobody's fucking thinking that in their mind. Like that just doesn't go through someone's mind. If if you're a girl watching this and that goes through your mind, that is shocking. Like please let me know if that's the case down in the comments, but like that's fucking shocking. Uh so what does this mean in the real life? Shoulders facing the person. Point your feet towards the person. This is a bit more advanced, really? Pointing your feet towards someone is advanced? Like, dude, I must be on another fucking level if that's advanced. Open your palms and carry your high, your head high. Okay. Walk like you just want a million bucks and you can't wait to share it with someone. Use this mindset trick as a cue of how your body posture should be when you walk into a room. And whatever you do, do not cross your arms. This voids all the others and makes you feel defensive. Like, what the fuck? I mean, okay, I guess. Uh, I don't really know. That's that's interesting, I guess. Uh, probably won't help you because, honestly, it's just like, hey, sit up like a normal person. Interesting. Touch. I remember in college, there was a cute girl I liked. She was outgoing. My perfect physical type and we had almost everything in common. It was frustrating because each time our friend group hung out, she never gave me any attention or signs that she liked me. Then one day, I learned from a friend how important touch was for a girl to build attraction. Now, this I feel is where it's going to go downhill. Because personally, when it comes to flirting, I'm not going to be touching the girl I'm flirting with, okay? It feels a little fucking creepy, especially from most of these articles and my experiences in the past. They're like, so you're going to want to grab her hand or you're going to want to rub her arm. And it's like, there's nothing more awkward than if you just randomly rub some girl's arm. Like, don't get me wrong. It's not the weirdest shit in the world. And if you do it, it's probably okay. But to me, not my fucking thing, okay? But let, let's see. When you know how to confidently touch a girl, it shows that you have confidence and dominance. It also signals to the girl's subconscious brain that you are a high-value man. I went through the physical escalation ladder and decided to randomly pick the girl up and carry her to the dance floor in the club one night. As soon as I put her down, she had the biggest I want you face I have ever seen. <laughs> What the fuck? Dude, what the absolute fuck? You're telling me you just picked up some girl and carried her to the dance floor? Like, oh, fuck yeah, babe. Let me carry you real quick out here to the dance floor. I'm sorry, dude, but honestly, like, if you're a girl and you like that, that's that's kind of scary. Uh, that's low-key a red flag. Like, it, it, just pick her up. You seem like such a dick if you do that. Like, I'm sorry, but that's just a dick fucking move right there. Uh, my confident action of physical ex escalation led me building more attraction from her. What? <laughs> Jean Smith actually noted that during her study of the hot eight method, that touch was the number one predictor of someone getting out of the friend zone. She mentioned the touching hands and the upper back are great places to start. What the fuck? Dude, imagine you're talking to some girl. You're really fucking into her, right? You're just chilling. You're talking. You're like, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, I do this. I do that. You know, how, um, yeah, I'm into this. Uh, you know, what do you think of that? Oh, that's cool. You think that's cool, too? Like, all right. And you just fucking touch her back. Like, what the fuck? Oh, my God, dude. Now, of course, you should never do something with a girl that you can't read well. This is why the ladder of physical escalation is so important. Always look directly into the girl's face when engaging in physical contact. If she shows the slightest sign of disgust, then simply smile and say, my bad, and continue with the conversation as if nothing happened. That doesn't fucking work like that. You can't just, like, fuck up, touch a girl, make her really fucking uncomfortable, and then go, ah, oh, shit, my bad, you know, my bad. It's all it's all cool, though. So what, what were you saying about your job, by the way? Like, no, <laughs> dude. 
in her mind, she's going to be thinking about that shit for the rest of the time she's talking to you. She's going to be like, this dude really just fucking touched me like that. Like, that was weird as fuck. Um, but sadly, we're only halfway through. So next is attention. This one is tricky to get right. How much attention do you give a girl? Do you need to pull away at times? What happens if you don't? I mean, I don't know. Like, you should probably give her your attention. I feel like people generally, not even just, you know, girls or anything like that. I feel like just people in a general sense kind of like you to pay attention when you're talking. Like, you know, I feel like people just like the attention being on them when they're saying some shit. Uh, but yeah, I guess whatever. Most men romanticize and give the girl too much attention through double texts, compliments, and nonstop validation. We've all seen it gone too far. I mean, I guess, but like, I don't know. I guess if you're into someone and she like doesn't really fuck with that or doesn't share the same energy, that's probably not the fucking one for you. Like, I don't know. I mean, I'm not the most energetic person in the world, okay? I'm honestly pretty quiet. I'm pretty reserved. Uh, and, you know, I'm just like a chill person. So, you know, I probably won't do a lot of that shit. Like, you know, I'll compliment people for sure. I'll be like, oh, like, you look good today or whatever. But, you know, I'm not really the type of guy to go, oh, my God, you look amazing today. Like, look at your hair. That is just so good. So, like, I don't, I don't know. Plus, I don't really know, like, if that's an attention thing. I, I, don't, I don't know, dude. I would say just, again, just be yourself. Because if you do do that shit, there's going to be some girl out there for you, I'm sure, that really likes that shit. Um, but, yeah, you know, that's that's that. Uh, a great frame to adopt is to treat the girl you like as if she were a new guy friend. I swear to God, it was just saying, don't put yourself in the friend zone. Now it's saying, go for it. You wouldn't double text a new guy you met. Sure I would, dude. If if I'm really fucking with that dude and I'm like, you know, hey, like, what's up, bro? Uh, you want to go hang out? You know, what are you doing? And like, I, that's a lot to put in one text, I feel like. I would kind of be like, oh, all right uh you know in one text and like oh hey like all right so what about this instead i don't know i feel like double texting isn't the fucking biggest deal in the world like i'm gonna be honest uh you know and if it was a new guy like friend that i was like oh hey like you know you're really cool i'm fucking with you and we're like sending memes and shit like i don't know that shit is kind of funny i don't that's fucking I don't know. You wouldn't rush to hang out with them as soon as possible and you most definitely wouldn't care too much what they thought about you. I mean, that's kind of true, but still, like, I don't know. This is weird. Uh, that's kind of like, you know, playing hard to get or some shit. That's weird, dude. Recognize that girls want to be treated like normal people and not some special princess like most men think. There are, however, a small group of women who really do wish and expect to be treated like a, a princess. However, for most men, these girls are usually trouble. Uh, I do kind of agree with that. If your girl's looking for like constant validation or like you constantly have to be doing shit for her, like, yeah, fuck that, dude. That's not for you. Get the fuck out of there. That's a red flag. I'm going to be honest. Proximity. <laughs> like, what the fuck does that even mean, dude? How close do you get to the girl in the conversation? Does her distance show you how into, into you she is? Girls rarely ever go up and make the first move on a guy. However, one way they will is by standing close to the guy they like. Before the conversation even starts, recognize how comfortable she and you are with the space between. This is just weird, dude. This is reading way too far into shit at this point. Like, really? Uh, you know, I'm not going to, like, disagree with it and say that girls don't really, you know, and say, oh, yeah, girls make the first move all the fucking time. But, I mean... Like, I don't know. This is weird to say, oh, well, if they're close to you, they must like you. Like, this is some of that weird shit that guys do where, like, if a girl compliments them or, like, sits next to them or some shit like that, they're like, oh, she's into me, dude. She's so fucking into me. Like, did you see that shit? She fucking sat next to me. She's got to be into me. She fucking wants the dick. It's like, no, she just fucking sat next to you, bro. Like, I don't know, dude. Uh, if you stand too far away 
the girl will think you are timid and shy. Don't worry if you are too close to the girl. She will usually let you know by stepping back herself. That's weird, dude. That's fucking weird. Like, imagine you, like, get way up into her personal space and she's stepping back. That's an L off the bat, bro. Like, that's not like a, oh, that's fine. She'll just fucking step back. Like, don't worry about it. Like, no, dude. The perfect distance when first talking to her is usually arm length. A way to gauge this is think to yourself, can I reach and touch the the girl's shoulder without extending too much? Like, that's weird, dude. Don't put that much thought into it. Just fucking stand like a normal fucking person. Weird, dude. Weird shit right here. Weird ass shit. Eye contact. The number one creepy thing you can do towards a girl is stare too long. As a rule, if you and the girls connect eyes for more than two or for more than three seconds or for more than two times in 10 minutes go up to her the fuck just happened that was the most confusing shit i've ever read otherwise if you wait the awkwardness will begin to build up in a bad way by far the best thing you can say to the girl when you first walk up to her is hi my name is who are you that's some weird ass shit like i don't know that that sounds like a weird template to use Honestly, I would be like, oh, hey, like, uh, you know, I saw you. I thought you were kind of cute. Like, you know, my name's Skeleton Key. You know, what's yours, right? Obviously, I'm not going to fucking walk up to a girl and say my name's Skeleton Key, but I don't really put my name out there on the internet very much. So that's why I'm using that. You know, do not walk up to a girl and say your name is Skeleton Key. I guarantee you that's not going to get you very fucking far, okay? But... I mean, you could try it if you want. Like, I give you permission, bro. Go out, use my fucking, use my channel name. That could, you know, that could pull you a girl one day. Uh, do not say something like, something cheesy like, hey, I noticed you caught my eye. That's exactly what I just said. But honestly, if you're into this girl and you're looking to like, you know, make a fucking relationship out of it, I would really just say like, Oh, hey, like, you know, I thought you were kind of cute. I thought I'd come over and introduce myself. My name's this. You know, what's your name? Oh, that's cool. Uh, You know, blah, blah, blah. You know, what what are you into? What are some things you like to do? Like, that's the probably the most normal way to start a conversation because it lets her know your intentions and it also lets you get those intentions out without just being like, oh, you know, yeah, hey, what's up? I saw you how's it going like you know then it's like why are we talking like are you into me are you not into me whereas if you go up and she's like yeah i'm into you uh you know and then she'll either say oh like you know i'm doing this or i got this i got a boyfriend like you know i don't really think this is gonna work out but you know thanks for coming up and talking to me anyway and it'll be like oh you know all right that's cool whatever uh you know i'll see you around right you know some shit like that you could just play that shit off it's easy uh but you know like i don't know dude weird ass shit in this article weird ass fucking shit like that's not that big of a deal and if it goes well and she's like oh hi like you know that's nice of you like oh my name's this uh you know i like fucking playing croquet or some shit like i don't know dude like i don't know i feel like that is just a lot more natural and gets the job done way better but it seems like a planned line. Girls also never like to admit that they came onto a guy, so just be casual. There was one study that mentioned the same parts of the brain light up when two strangers make eye contact for seven seconds and when two strangers see each other naked. The fuck is that study? Uh, this shows how powerful eye contact is, so don't forget to make good eye contact while you're talking to her also. Lastly, eye contact is one is the one part of this framework that differentiates the interaction from friendly to flirty. You can do all the others, humor, openness, touch, attention, proximity, but without eye contact, someone might just think you're being friendly. Don't believe me? You can definitely be funny with your friends, be open with them, even fist bump or pat their back, give them attention, and be pretty close with them, but you look one of your friends in the eyes too long, it gets kind of awkward. I mean, that's true, I guess, but I don't know, dude. I don't fucking know. When you follow these six tips on the hot ape theory, your ability to meet and attract high quality women will skyrocket. For many people who use it, the hot ape framework takes the pressure off of them as a person and turns into a game. 
where you must check off each part. Instead of you not being a funny person, you could just say you didn't implement humor. Instead of not being attractive, you could just say you weren't open enough in that interaction. In other words, you could blame the failure of an approach on your inability to follow the framework instead of you as a person, which helps a lot of guys get over approach rejection easier. I feel like if you get rejected, like, you know, just take that and say, yeah, all right, I wasn't the person for her, uh, you know, and maybe it is because you're like, you know, I wasn't really happy with what I did there and that could possibly be the reason. And then you improve those parts of yourself, you know, like, I don't think it needs to be like, oh, well, I'm perfect. I just didn't implement this part of this method well enough. Like, I don't know, dude weird as fuck this article honestly some incel shit right here uh i would recommend you don't follow like 90 percent of this shit some of this shit is all right but honestly dude i'm telling you just go out be yourself that's what's gonna get you in a relationship or at least in a relationship that you fucking want to be in uh because if you're out there meeting somebody not being yourself chances are that shit's going to go downhill real quick once you start acting more and more like yourself. So honestly, just go out there, be yourself. If you see someone attractive, go fucking talk to them. Ask for a Snapchat and Instagram, whatever. Like, I I don't know, dude. You know, honestly, a skeleton gear out here, your boy out here getting you laid, okay? I'm being completely fucking honest, keeping it 100 with you guys, all right? I do got one more article for us to check out though, so let's go ahead and check that one out. All right, so this article, this is for, you know, the more advanced students out here in Skeleton Keys, uh, you know, course to seduce the woman of your dreams, okay? This one is for those of you out there who maybe you do have that special someone already, all right? You don't need that hot eight bullshit. You already have someone. You're already out there playing. You're making the fucking rounds with her, right? You're doing the shit. She is your lady, all right? She's your girl. (laughs) This is the weirdest fucking video I've ever made. I'm just putting that shit out right here. But this article, how to get your girlfriend to give you a blowjob. Oh, boy. Now, men out there, I know, like, getting a blowjob, that's some crazy-ass shit. I'm going to be honest. There's, you know, that shit comes second to none in my book, all right? Uh, girls, I know it, it might be kind of a pain in the ass to do sometimes. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it, it kind of looks like a pain in the ass to do, but, uh, you know, it's just, it's some shit, right? It's some shit. And if you're a guy, you know, let's figure out how to get your girlfriend to give you that blow job. All right. So men enjoy getting blow jobs. Men really, really enjoy getting blow jobs. They love it. They crave it. But why is it so hard for men and women to find common ground when it comes to a blow job? Uh, you know, uh, it's, it's not, it's actually not that difficult. You just kind of, you know, fucking talk about it. Like if you're in a relationship, it's not that hard. Just say, oh yeah, this is some shit I like. What do you think? Oh shit. All right. You know, yeah. You want to try it? Let's try it. You don't like it. We can maybe not do it very often, but you know, I do fuck with it. So, you know, like it's not that fucking hard, but why is it so hard to get your girl to give you head? Well, there's more to meet the eye and we'll go to all of it right here. How come something one gender so diff- so desperately wants is often unpleasant or downright appalling for the other gender to provide? But before we go ahead, if you're looking for the best way to go down on a girl and give her the best oral sex ever, here's the complete guide you'll ever need to know. So that is another article, and we honestly might fucking check that out later in a separate video because that shit is just – that shit's too funny. I could make a whole series like fucking Skeleton Key's Guide to Dating or some shit. Like I don't know. You know, if you want to see that, let me know. Let me know. So on to getting a blowjob and understanding why guys don't get as much head as they desire. I mean I've gotten a fair bit of head in my life. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, and I'm sure if you're watching my channel, you probably have two, you probably pull bitches left, right, and center. Uh, you know, you just are, you know, all the men who watch my channel, you are that kind of person. And if you aren't, you know, you will be like my channel gives you that ability. It's, it's in there inside. Trust me. Trust me. 
As a guy, you want more blowjobs. All girls know this. Every time a girl starts kissing your neck and moves down to your towards your chest and goes lower down south towards your stomach, they know exactly what's on your mind. You're just desperately hoping she'd wrap her lips and tongue over your now throbbing dick. What the fuck, dude? I feel like I'm reading out some fucking porn at this point. If you're in a steady relationship, maybe you're getting a reasonable amount of blowjobs now and then. But if you're hooking up or just having a one-night stand, you know the chances of getting a girl to give you head is almost next to impossible. But then you want it and hope for it, and yet you ignorant all the what? And yet you ignore all the little details that'll make a woman eager to go down on you. Oh, I'm so excited for this article. As a girl, blowjobs are one of the things she hates the most. Now, from a girl's perspective, everything just changes. As a guy, you're thinking, why can't she go down on me and give me head? But from her perspective, all she's thinking in her head when she has to give you head is, do I have to? Uh, I mean, I've never actually been in this experience. Maybe my dick is just magical or some shit, but personally, I've had some, you know, positive feedback from, you know blowjobs in the past but okay to her she doesn't know where you've put it in she doesn't know how hygienic you are and most importantly if it doesn't look like you've made any effort to make it easy or pleasurable for her she'll just kiss you all around and ignore the one place you're hoping she'll plant her lips i don't know what the fuck i just read there i'm gonna be honest my brain just fucking turned off how to get a woman to give you more head If you're wondering how to get a girl to give you more head, you need to know that the reasons for this lack of interest in women vary widely. A few women find it humiliating and others are afraid they're not any good at it and will only embarrass themselves. All right, let's be honest. If you're a girl out there watching my video, guys don't give a shit if you're bad at things. They don't give a fuck, okay? Getting some shit from a girl is getting some shit from a girl. It doesn't matter if you're like fucking insane and you're going to fucking, you know, yank their fucking yogurt hose and that shit's going to be spraying yogurt in like two seconds or if you're shitty and they got to walk you through that shit. Either way to a guy, it's fucking, it's, it's there. It's, you know, it's there, right? It's there. Uh, And then there are, of course, those who are not at all prejudiced, but just don't like giving head. Okay. Uh, dozens of possible explanations exist, yet most of them seem to focus on women because obviously they're the ones with the problem, right? Am I right? Women, you know, fucking women. Am I right? They're the ones with the issues. Well, not at all. In fact, a closer look paints a picture where men are equally or more to blame for the unsatisfactory experience or complete lack of fellatio in the relationship. 16 things you could do to ensure your girl loves giving you head. Luckily, the very reasons that point out a man's flaws are also reveal clues to understanding how you can fix this. If you want to know how to get your girl to give you head, use these fixes and you'll go from a guy who doesn't get head to a guy who gets head all the time. Talk to her. I'm going to be honest. I've always thought talking about sexual shit with like your significant other is kind of weird. Uh, don't get me wrong. I think it's good to bring up like, oh, this is some shit I like. I'm down to try it. Are you down to try it? But I don't think you should have like a big, long conversation about it. It shouldn't be like, oh, this is this. I like this. You know, I really want to do this. Like, do you want to do this? Okay, good. It's, I don't know. It's just, it's fucking weird. Or be like, oh, honey, we should have a, you know, you should give me a blowjob tonight. What are your opinions on that? Like, uh, that's just weird as fuck. Uh, the second one is hair. Okay, guys, I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to be real with you. You got to keep that shit shaved down there. Like, I'm going to be honest. There's not very many girls who fuck with the hair down there. If she's giving you a blowjob, bro, you got to get that shit shaved. You got that shit's got to get shaved up real quick, bro. She don't want that shit in her mouth. Like that's, that's kind of gross, bro. Think about that. Think about if you were going down on a girl, right? Do you want that shit in your mouth? Exactly, bro. You you got to shave that shit. Like, I'm being real with you. Like, that is some of the most real advice you'll ever get on my fucking channel. You got to shave that shit, bro. Honestly. Um. So, yeah, that, that addresses the hair problem. Keeping it clean. Again, bro, like, oh, I'm back. All right, all right I'm, I'm back. I'm whispering in your ear here. There's some ASMR shit. I hope you guys are enjoying this shit. But, uh, you know, you got to keep that shit clean, bro. If you want her to go down on you, bro, you got to keep that shit clean. Like, honestly... 
bro would you be going down on a girl if she's smelling like fish like fuck no bro so you don't want to be smelling like ass down there bro you don't want that shit to be smelling like fucking the worst shit ever bro like you don't want that shit to be like smelling like that that's gross as fuck bro clean that shit up uh watch your mouth what the fuck does this mean dirty talk is not for oh okay okay ah that 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 so it's about you know all that talk about fucking her mouth ramming it your cocked out her throat till she chokes on it yeah honestly dirty talk not really the play like i'm gonna be honest i'm not really one for dirty talk uh i've never just been like you know getting a blowjob and be like oh yeah you fucking like that dick in the back you like that's weird as fuck bro like don't do that. Just shut the fuck up and enjoy it, okay? Like, that's my fucking inv- advice. Uh, give her a head start. What does that mean? Welcome her mouth with a standing ovation and let her know how sexy and desired she is. The fuck? Seeing you almost erect is like half the job is already done, which means... Re- I don't know what the fuck that means. If your girl is not up to giving you a BJ right off the bat, okay, now I'm going to be honest, bro. When people call that shit BJ, like, that shit annoys the fuck out of me. I don't know why. It's like, it's a pet peeve of mine. It's just, it's like, dude, just say blowjob. Like, it's not that hard. BJ, that's weird as fuck. You sound weird as fuck. Uh, Yeah, I guess play it small. Don't include oral sex in your foreplay. You know, just, hey, build up to it. You know, make, make it, make it an experience, right? Make it an experience. The law of giving and receiving. And how are you in bed? A tad too selfish? All right, basically, hey, give your girl some shit, you know, back, right? You know, she's not going to be one of doing all this shit for you if you don't do anything for her. You got you to gotta do some shit for her sometimes. Okay, so number eight here is 69. Let her be on top. Simple as that. If you want a girl to give you head, let her get on top and eat. What the fuck? And eat her like there's no tomorrow. It's mutual masturbation. And okay, okay. You know, hey, we can all assume from that one, all right? Don't just lay there, but don't force her either. Yeah, I mean, that's a that's a fair thing. I mean, I guess if she's into it, you could. But if not, I mean, you know, don't like kill her, right? You know, that's probably not a good experience. I don't think anybody wants to feel like they're on the verge of dying, uh, but you know, don't just sit there like an idiot either, you know, <laughs> like it's kind of like a, a fine line, you know, it, it takes some skill. It takes some skill for sure. Make it fun. What the fuck? Try squirty cream. What the fuck is squirty cream? Edible lubricants. Oh dude. I, I've, I've always heard that those things taste like shit. Tasty toppings. The fuck body paint. The again, the fuck, or even ice cream dude the fuck it works great as long as both of you are feeling adventurous bro she'd be licking my dick like a popsicle all right like honestly the fuck is that shit right there try role playing okay that's a little um you know hey not for me not for me maybe it's for you not for me help her improve again this is what i was saying dude like if you're a girl like honestly some dude will walk you through this shit like it's not that bad like uh, i don't know dude like i guess and if you're a dude just try and you know be be patient be patient okay uh in or out this should be obvious if she doesn't like it when you come in her mouth don't come in her mouth don't try and sneak one in a it's infantile that's an interesting word b she won't forgive you for it i mean i guess but it's kind of like if it happens it happens like what are you supposed to do uh you know i mean are you supposed to have like the conversation of like oh honey like and can i come in your mouth or like is that a no like you know mid blowjob like i don't know dude that's that's kind of weird i guess if it was talking about before and she's like i really don't like uh you know i really don't like when that shit is in my mouth and then it's like oh okay fair uh you know we can do something else with that but i don't know dude it's it's weird like don't make a big deal about uh, in the middle i guess i guess if you fuck up you fuck up you just kind of gotta learn uh don't have your cum taste like shit that's probably good spare the embarrassment if things go south if you start to lose your erection when she's giving you a blowjob take action and change the plan completely kind of weird um i don't know if you're losing your erection that's a bad sign right there i don't really know what to say i guess just you know yeah make it feel like it's not her fault but 
that's weird say thank you seriously again bro it's so weird say thank you like imagine she gets up you're like oh my god thank you like that was amazing yeah so i don't know this <laughs> this has been another weird article kind of like weird a little incelly if you ask me i'm not gonna lie uh, i feel like as a normal hu- functioning human being you probably have a better method to go about this than what the internet tells you. Uh, you know, if you liked my advice, uh, my advice on the side, you're welcome. Uh, you know, I do charge. So if you use any of this advice in the real world, uh, you do got to let me know it's, you know, $5 per use, but, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot to me. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the kind of weird video. If you did make sure you leave a like, uh, as well as subscribe trying to get to 500 by the end of the year and i really think we could do it uh you know i believe i believe in the skeleton key youtube channel okay we can make it we can make it so yeah make sure you leave that like hit that subscribe though as always have a wonderful rest of your day i'll see you guys later goodbye